I don't mean to impose, but I'm hoping you can help me. My daughter, Dharma, is missing. Oh, hey, here we I go. I don't know what to do. Let's do this one. That's right. My daughter, Dharma, never came back from Hackdirt. Remember that time where we decided to do the main quest for 10 minutes and then forgot about it? Hell yeah. The only reason to start doing the main quest as Oblivion is to get the, the proper Oblivion experience of ignoring the main quest. Like, previously, we weren't ignoring the main quest, And just being quest, generally right? frustrated with all the Oblivion gates that pop up. In case it may be useful, yeah, like, this is, this is the real Oblivion experience of knowing what you're supposed to do and, like, <laughs> theoretically be wanting to doing it, wanting to do it, but, like, just finding out that everything else in the game is much more interesting. It'd be interesting if they ever tried to do an Elder Scrolls game where there really wasn't a main quest in the beginning, and a lot of the early stuff is just kind of like, oh, figure it out, and then, like, maybe some of the guild quest lines ultimately coalesce into what the main quest turns out to be. That's kind of how I designed I think it's even worse in Skyrim. Where, like, oh, the dragons are here, you're the dragonborn, there's shit going on, you gotta go. And you're like, like my, no, my I go wanna uh, collect cheese wheels. My go to approach to designing a tabletop role playing Have game campaign is just to create a system, like, uh, like a I world system, like to create some kind of like balance of like daughter, people and ideas passes, and like resources and desires, and, and to throw and some kind of like wrench into it that kind what of lurches it into. A new order, or to like a new state of uncertainty, and then just kind of drop the players near it. Because like, if the players have their own quest, like if the players don't know what they want to do, then like I can't this disorder will give them plenty of excuses to like join factions, like find people that they want to work for. No deal. And if they do know what they want to do, then it provides the perfect backdrop. You need to make a better. Offer. What I would do yeah. is assign one person in the D and D party to be like the project manager from the king. And every once in a while, they have to show up and be like, hey, you guys doing that thing the king told you to do? Off. Off. Every session, you have you to give a debrief where you explain That's why you didn't do the main idea. quest and like why yeah. you're actually working really hard on it. I I, I am literally just describing the, the game paranoia at this point. Yeah, <laughs> yes. that's true. Oh, how did this one end up winked? I must have gotten the order on these wrong. Well, let's just sell all of these things. A good price. For yeah, no shit. Customer. It's probably pretty fucking heavy. Maybe you thought Oblivion was like running around the countryside and looking at countryside. It's nope, deal. it's going through menus selling shit you don't really need. <laughs> uh, this is like, legitimately the Oblivion experience. Try right click to sell or like control click to sell. Uh. Okay. Didn't do it. That didn't do it. Let's try shift. Nope. That's more. Th nope. You got a great deal there. Let's sell all these alchemy ingredients that weigh more than yep. garlic. You need nothing. a mod or a script to sell without confirmation. Don't want to sell cool. those. Why is this game like this? I think that's I a good question to know. ask every now and again. Role playing. When you actually sell stuff in a fantasy setting, you have to do the one by one. And every time, the shopkeeper's like, are you sure? Yes. Can you imagine how fucking nerve-wracking it'd be if you went to like a store to like sell a few things? And every time you go to sell something, the person buying is just like, Are you sure you're buying? You're selling this thing for this price. And you're like, Why? What am I missing? It's like, Nothing. This is the market value. But still. Yeah, that's not how it is at all. When I was in college, I used to sell CDs because CDs used to be worth something because I'm old. And what you would do is you'd bring the whole stack of CDs and then the guy would like take the CDs and like look at you like you killed his mom or something. And then he'd come back and he'd be like, yeah, I'll take 14 bucks for that 50 bucks of store credit. And you're like, okay. If you ever want to like do a uh, living village style historical recreation of this experience, just go to any GameStop, I guess. Yep. If your GameStop is still open. 
I think there is one near me that still exists. It's also They're right next to a there. Maximum Comics, which used to be a Payless shoe source. This is just kind of like but a winning Payless economic sector right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're all in a strip mall opposite Walmart, so like, you know, the the end, all they have to do to, to see the end result is to just look across the street, so... Look at this random town in the middle of nowhere with no streets going to it. Why would anyone even, like, why would you even know how to get here? I mean, you wouldn't. They don't want people coming here. Tactor. Let me <laughs> See? <laughs> now, See what he oh, just said? Shit. Are you sure? Yeah, he said leave. You look kindly on strangers asking questions. If you need a room, try Moslin's Inn. Otherwise, you'd best be moving on. Shh. We can't talk here. They'll get suspicious. <laughs> You're literally the only person danger. I've seen in this town. Meet me tonight after dark in my house. I'll leave the door unlocked. Don't be late. This is a just, you know, you can trust this guy. I'm talking to you. Don't. It'd be funny if you, everyone you talk to in this town is just like, Dharma, come to my house after dark. She's in grave danger. We can't talk to anyone else. Don't trust anyone else in this town. Everyone else in this town is an evil cultist, but I've only been pretending to be an evil cultist all along so I can infiltrate them. So this oh is just God. like a, a, a Lovecraft reference, right? Like this whole 100%. fucking quest. Yeah, this the, is just the, the Shadow of Prince Smith. It's the Deep Ones. Uh, it should be the yeah, chef like, of it's... the Deep Ones, am I right? I'm sorry. I am so, 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 I'm so, so. <laughs> Jump. Do it. Jump from that height. What's it? I can't. Yes. Ah, oh, yes! Now Santa will Let's go down the chimney. Let's see what you're made of. <laughs> this is, uh, we're gonna get drop kills on the boss, right? It's Dark Souls yeah, now. Why yeah, is yeah. there a horse there? Oh, <gasps> wait. I actually know why there's a horse there, because it's Dharma's horse, isn't it? Ah! <laughs> Thanks, Quest. I had no idea. I should ask Atira Moslin if she knows what happened to Dharma, says the witless, feckless quest log. What's this guy? Oh, that's not that guy. We we'll talk like to you inside some bushes. Their noses into our business. Outsiders came and burned our town years ago. Ruined us. But we'll get ours back one day soon. Okay. Just leave. Did you just love it when you... just start blasting? You know? How do you, just, do you just love it when you visit a small town and everyone's like, yeah, those big city people ruined us, but we'll show them! We'll show them! And that's when I started blasting. Yep. So I guess we'll just uh, hang out and wait for a few hours. You cannot wait while there are enemies nearby. God fucking damn it. What? What it's, now? It's just Please this, be we don't even have the combat it's music. Just, oh no, okay. It's just, it's just this town that has a weird, like, cultural oh, thing where they sound really sinister and foreboding, and they keep getting into a loop where they, like, provoke outsiders into, like, attacking in self-defense. Or, and then, like, they get a grudge against those outsiders, and then they, like, complain about that to someone else. It just keeps happening. The cycle continues. It's the Reaper cycle, basically. If only they could just be le a little That's less shady. Who was it we talked to before? He had like a pumpkin Jav head. Jav Huriel. Yeah, remember this that? Was if that you see that just like, looked really bad? He just like looked like yeah, dog shit? That, that guy. That one. Yes. Yeah. There's only like four houses here. Oh, is this it? I think this is it. Yeah, here we go. Hello, sir. I'm shocked he's still okay. alive. 
Good. I don't have much time. I have <laughs> to get to the cabin better. before oh my I miss God. This, how's, hey, this, hey, hey um, dude, can we, you know, no offense, but can we talk to your mama? Is your mama around? This guy's got some sweet meat, now, is this, you know what I mean? Is this an intentional reference to, like, um, Innsmouth? No, you know, I mean, well, it, like all this is weird, like, or <laughs> is this no, just no, accident? no, 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 no. Goodness, no. This is just I a normal looking guy in oblivion. <laughs> they want to bring back the deep ones. I don't know how he <laughs> survived there so long in this town so full of people who eat people. He just They've looks so the delicious. They're going to sacrifice. <laughs> I'm gonna make a really unfair <laughs> judgment call here. Also, I yeah, don't think this is so much a reference to Shadow Rinsmith as it is a. Kind of an homage by someone who kind of remembers Shatter over in Smooth. Best bet. Yeah. Where she's being held, the middle of the night, when everyone's at the gathering. Good luck. It's it's like it, it has it, enough you? content from Shadow and Smith to like be an obvious homage, but it's just kind of much. thrown in weirdly without so really any context. Our grandfathers first found them, I think, digging in the mine. It's like they had I like how the, for like school, they helped us, and that's all they made us rich. Yeah. But there was a terrible price. Blood. Like they're, they're not referring to like abstract gods or like gods out in the ocean or whatever. It's like something that they found in the mine. Also, none of these motherfuckers are rich. Those of us who've changed the most, we call yeah. the brethren. They like that's the whole upshot. Like Insmith has like a thriving, like like really rich people like because the they have a gold much. refinery, Dangerous and there's like all of these like to avoid the New England planet. like nouveau rich people who got fucking jack Pain like you know extremely the wealthy town. off of it and kept Some the town rich. alive. Who Some the fuck is rich in Hector? We found the deep ones. Well, Every I mean, they did say the town got burned down a few years back. Maybe there were rich people before. It was only a boy when the soldiers came, we hid. Vowed revenge. Oh, so they're gone. Came back. Oh, okay, yeah. Atira, so this is like who found them post end of is of, of Shadow over Insmith. Insmith. They want blood, she says. Like after the army shows us. up. Insmith two. Shouldn't be in here, stranger. It's a sequel. How much blood do these deep ones need? Because we got a plenty. We can just keep murdering yeah. if that's what it needs. <laughs> Wait, you're coming with God, us. These these fucking evil murderers like creating this just uh, yeah. just like butchering people by the hundreds to generate Ugh. wealth for the city hey um we should do the arena quest line at some point by the way <laughs> you won't get away with this. there's totally not like an actual river of blood what just what it's just like a river of blood that comes out of the arena just a huge one really it's not like a, literally a drinking fountain of bl human blood that you can go to Ooh. to replenish after yeah. you're done in the arena. Yeah, it's a little warm though. They don't always keep it cold. I preferred my blood iced. That was pretty magnificent. What the fuck? Hey Josh, at some point in your life, do you think you're going to graduate to the point where you're no longer fighting shirtless dudes in caves? Uh, I don't know, <laughs> it's 50-50 at this point. Oh, I just got a really bad deja vu. Have we been here before? We, we absolutely have been here before. Oh, in, in spirit, I, yes. I, I've just decided that, like... I'm gonna adopt Goblin Jim as my my Oblivion fanfiction protagonist, and I'm gonna be the one that creates all the lore for him that like is accepted yes. by the fandom. <laughs> yes, make f have Campster send you one of those wikis, those fan wikis. Camp Goblin Jim quit Hacktor. Like he he used to live in Hacktor, and then like yeah. he didn't. He liked the vibe of like hanging around in dank caves, like with no shirt on. He thought that was great, but he just thought that there was like. You know, it's, it's kind of just like they're, they're basically asking for handouts, if you think about it. Like, they're basically just, like, rolling the deep one lottery, hoping to get rich. He's what? like, nah, that's, I'm a hustler, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm gonna grab a bunch of goblins that work for nothing, and I'm gonna, like, mm -hmm. fucking disrupt this whole, like, merchant economy. <laughs> yeah, they spend too much time being negative, when they should be spending their time getting it, you know what I mean? <gasps> Going for it. Exactly. Does uh, Goblin Jim make TikToks in his cave about like business entrepreneurship? 
<laughs> oh, absolutely. Here in my cave. Hey, but he has Where all these, like, really insincere go? TikToks about, like, these goblins and, like, the financial difficulties they have and, like, how Thank he you. uses his wealth as an entrepreneur to help them out oh. with, like, all these oh, stopgap yeah. solutions. Women around. But the Even best ones are the ones where he has, like, a horse and horse armor, and he's like, Do you want to get a horse and horse armor? Just follow my five tips! I used to ride a painted horse with no armor. Now I have a chain and all black horse with elven armor. How did I make that happen? By being my own boss and also the boss of these goblins. <laughs> weird Do you want to be prosperous? Of, like that dude and Brian David Gilbert. Yeah. I'm Here's how you make your money. Firstly, give me your money. Secondly, I I'm a bandit. Give me your money, or these Outside goblins are going to kill you. Destroy us, but we oh, Goblin survive. Jim, you're so cool. Don't push your luck, stranger. Plenty of folks have turned up dead. I like how these guys are like, like oh, we we're keeping up the pretense despite me hanging out in this cave. After having murdered a bunch I'm of waiting. their shirtless dudes, one day I found a way to make multi-level marketing work for me. This is the trap oh, yes. level. Down below that is the goblin ambush level. Down below that is what I like to call the poison level. I can't be seen talking. I'm through talking to you. Follow us on uh, Instagram. Let me out of here. What kind of like you affiliate stuff would he do? Would Goblin Jim do? Like what companies? Do yeah. You know? Horrible to me tonight. Like Raycon or Blue Apron. Raid Shadow Legends. Would he like to let people know that they can make their own website on Squarespace? Thank you. <laughs> we need to get out of here quick. I have a hundred goblins working for me, and you know what goblins love? That's right, British television shows. But you can't always get those without a VPN. Are you sometimes depressed because you live in a goblin cave surrounded by other goblins? Sign up for Talkspace. You can talk to people online. You don't even have to leave your cave. Would you like to be a lord or lady? Please sign up for this service. It'll sell you a small plot of land somewhere in Cyrodiil. <laughs> <laughs> and in. Have you seen my horse? I can't. Have you ever yeah, thought yeah, about yeah. becoming a cryptocurrency millionaire? That's right. You just have to go down into this crypt and get the ancient golden coins there, and you can be your own boss and make millions of dollars in a fast-paced investor economy. I've had this goblin make a bunch of NFTs of different goblins wearing funny hats. You can buy them online for Bitcoin. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Non-fungible totems. <laughs> help. All my staves gone. They just sold. Please help me. <laughs> you know, the all my totems gone. <laughs> You know, the irony is that the totems actually were pretty fungible. I think they were just a stack of five by the time we were done with them. <laughs> yeah. Where did Dharma go? I think we lost her. Okay, you're confused by trees, I guess. You know, we're trying to make our escape here. Have you heard of, like, trotting or galloping or anything? Maybe just don't walk? How do you think she got caught in the first place, Josh? <laughs> yeah. What is the point of having a horse if it doesn't even go anywhere? It's majestic Can you just as meet fuck, her there? John. She has a bond with it. It's her it's her friend. They understand each other. She that the horse is the only thing that understands her. They have like a beautiful kinship that her mom doesn't get. Now that I think about it, I think I had a uh, mod that makes quest NPCs run, too. Her mom's like, honey, the horse mill in town is willing to sell me, f give me 50 bones if we just turn the horse into steaks. She's like, <laughs> no, mom, I need this horse. 
I'm gonna ride to become like one of the greatest racers of all time that only moves at trotting speed. <laughs> and by trotting, I mean walking, because this is just straight up a walk. Literally, I think she's moving as fast as she would if she were walking on foot. I mean, a horse doesn't walk particularly quickly. Yeah. This isn't, like, why would you even take a horse here? Like, this is not the country that you would ride a horse on. I mean, this is practically a vertical fucking drop. What the... No, okay. She's I think just gonna you should just fast travel where you're going and then wait like 12 hours and she'll be alright. That's all right. what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying to you. Alright, let me quick save here just in case that breaks something. Oh, there we go. Interesting route. Cool route. Cool route that she takes from the front gate yeah, to her house. Fuck? Root. What? <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, confusing things. Are, are you done? My hero. Okay, good. My mother owns this shop. She would be glad of your business. We're all talking about the Emperor. Okay, action. I don't know what your rumors. Hello. I hope I can help. Have you found her? Is she safe? No, she's definitely not safe. Don't look down the stairs. Thank you. Thank you. I can never repay you for your gift of my daughter's life. But you have my friendship and gratitude to the end of my days. More games need to have it be a thing where, like, RPGs need to be a thing. Like, you don't necessarily get an immediate reward for helping someone, but they just like you more, and that is ends up being a kind of reward. Like, she, she'll give you good prices on shit now. Yeah. Like, look at her, her, her like of you. Well met. It's probably 100. Oh, quality goods. 97. Yeah, see? Like, having a merchant who's a big fan of you got is a huge... Oh, okay, well, that's a little bit rich. I mean, she has running a business here, Josh. You've got... Josh, what if what if her next daughter gets kidnapped and You've she needs to pay to. a bounty? She needs this like is... she needs to make a profit here, Joshua. That's exactly where it was before. It didn't change any. <laughs> well, the market's the market, Joshua. She's a single mom. I can't believe you're doing this. <laughs> Yeah, she's a single mother. She needs to buy uh, that therapy and service that Goblin five. Jim uh, is hawking Talk on his, his podcast. Come back at Talk space. I'm seeing you. All right. Uh, we have we did it. We did the main quest. <laughs> you need to get your it's mercantile right. scope to 75 so you unlock a multi-level mercantile. Yes, the sword is only worth 15 gold. But if I sell it to you for 45 gold and you sell it to someone for 60 gold, then we're all making profit. <laughs> oh my god. 